Hi, I'm Janice Meredith from JBM Think Sports Branding, coach's wife for 28 years and sports mom for 21. And today I am talking to you as I travel across the country with my son, my 26 year old son. Um, decided to do the video in the car today because I just thought I'd take advantage of this opportunity to let you share in on a little bit of his wisdom. I'm actually driving across the country uh, with him because he is moving from Florida to Oregon and so it's a very bittersweet experience but I thought it's a good example of maybe some of the traits that uh, hopefully he got instilled in him as he was growing up so I'm gonna ask him some questions and maybe he'll have some insights to share with you um, that will help you as you raise your own kids so TJ just tell us a little bit about how growing up playing sports taught you to fight for yourself and how that has impacted your life well I think the thing I like about sports is it's bigger than just the sport the the game ex itself there's so much that goes into it and so much inner battles that an athlete has and that can learn that will set you up for for life and that will set you up for life lessons that you'll learn and though it may be a different angle um, when you're 26 and when you're 17 and playing high school football it's still similar and so I think sports taught me how to fail taught me how to, to think for myself taught me how to handle success um, and taught me how to I mean to handle things myself and and I think as I'm 26 this decision was 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 kind of a myself decision if I let you make it it probably wouldn't be going this way no nope. so I think that's a pretty battle part so learning to fight your own battles tell us a little bit about how that helped you perhaps in in your in your tough work situation that you just came out of well I think it's just you got to think I mean yeah you got to talk to people about it and you got to get wisdom and you got to get wise counsel and, and be open with people but you also got to deal with it yourself and and go throughout the I mean it's you're you're there for yourself you're you don't bring everybody in there with you and so I think um, it allows me to make my own decisions. I don't rely on other people for decisions. I don't let them make decisions for me. Um, I might talk through things with people and they'll, that will lead me to a decision, but ultimately it just it doesn't allow me to ride the coattails of a mom or a dad or a family member um, the whole time. So, and, and playing sports taught you some of that independence? Yeah, think? yeah, I think playing sports taught you a lot, especially as you get older. I mean, I think seventh grade eighth grade sports are a lot different than senior in high school junior in high school to college sports there's just you you can become more of an individual and you don't i mean you start driving yourself the small things you start driving yourself to practice so you got to show up to practice on time for yourself you don't rely on your parents who know when it is and they want you to be there early just the small decisions on remembering to bring stuff to away games which i've forgotten like a pad many times going through high school or somewhere i forgot a a butt pad or a hip pad or something like that and had to get help from a trainer just small things like that the responsibility that it teaches you okay so even in this trip um, moving away across the country even though you have gone away to college this is a, a different season now because you've been back with your family for three years in the same city and moving across the country um, what kind of traits that you learned from um, sports might have contributed to you being able to do this um, I think I think knowing I mean I think it's not just sports but um, I think it's knowing how knowing that you're going to fail but knowing failure is okay I'm not saying this trip is about it but there's gonna it's a it's gonna be a new place for me um, and a lot of new people and a job might fail a relationship might not work out how I wanted to and but knowing that it's okay and it's okay to continue moving like if you lose your second game of the season, your season's not done there. So when you go and maybe my second month of living in Oregon is really going to be tough, it doesn't stop there. I'm going to I'm going to push through that and know that there's going to be lessons to be learned through that. Okay. Well, this mom is very sad to see him go, but I am proud of his courage and I am proud of the strength that he gained as he was growing up. So keep that in mind that your kids are young right now and you know maybe they're struggling through things that they are learning 
things that will give them courage for the hard stuff later in life. Have a great week and please remember to be part of the Positive Sports Parenting Tribe.